Okay, we're going to talk about themes briefly. Now, the reason I've left this till last is that although everyone frets over how their website looks, in practice you've actually got a bit of time to get this sorted out because the most important thing in my mind is to get some content up there and get Google crawling around because until they've done that, humans aren't going to even look at the site anyway apart from you. So you can do content first, which is what I'd suggest, and then themes soon after. Uh, the default nowadays is 2012 theme, which is, as you've seen, um, quite ugly. Now, to my mind, obviously I'd change that wording, but to my mind I'm quite happy with that because I want people to, if I'm doing a site, I want people to basically read the text, look at the images if need be, and click on links and buy stuff. But a lot of people prefer to have something that looks a little bit prettier. Um, if you've got like I showed you with HostGator where it installed earlier versions, you'll have probably 2010 and definitely 2011 themes there as well. Um, if you've if it's gone straight to version 3.5 you won't, you'll just have the, the 2012 theme, the one that they're happiest with recently. But any other installed themes you can click on the thing that says Live Preview and it does what it says on the tin. It gives you a a preview of what the site would look like and basically all that's done is change the header but you can also change the tagline so and that happens as as it goes um, but it won't save it because I'm not going to tell it to you can change the colors so just clicking light or dark will give you that personally I don't like reversed out text which is where it's white on black I much prefer black and white it's easier to read uh, the layout content to the left is standard nowadays don't change that unless you graphics designer freaks but basically don't change it header image you can change background image I tend not to use one I find it distracting static front page is what we set on the other one so you can cancel out of that and then install themes now that will give you the standard WordPress search and it's very easy to get distracted on there for ages you can do all sorts of things I find that those tend to narrow them down quite a lot but you can search for a keyword search for newest if you're one of these people that prefers newest and you can preview any of those and so you, you choose one that you think looks okay you can preview it and it now previews you what your current site would look like ish on that close out of that and you, you go through and as I said you can spend hours or you can find a graphics designer who will just design you a site for however much money you want to pay them they're all over the place on pricing ranging from very very cheap to very very expensive and all points in between and you just tell them you want a WordPress design or you can go to a site like Theme Forest which I'll sh the URL for this will be in the PDF that accompanies this course as you can see there's 8,000 at the time of viewing and you can search by WordPress which is what you want now these are site these are themes that other people will have used that's fair enough and uh, again you can choose whatever so your corporate look you can go for that it doesn't much matter with the fact that other people have used it you won't be the only one in the world there's millions upon millions of websites out there and if you're going to search it'll default by date don't do that if you want a shortcut go by sales so you find the, so the site designs that have been and they're roughly fifty dollars at Theme Forest, they're not much different. Some are forty five, some are forty, but most are fifty, fifty five dollars. And then you can preview that and see why other people like it. And you've got screenshots, live previews, all sorts of things, and a sales pitch on what it does. So if you're stuck for a theme, Theme Forest is a good place to start. If you can't find one in the default themes, but there are loads of those and some of them Again, if we go for a search, one word I often just type in is premium. Because those tend to be 
slightly more corporate -y. that particular one but a premium theme isn't premium because WordPress will only link to ones that are free or start free and then you have the option of paying more so that particular one looks like a very good slideshow type one very standard modern design you can install it literally by clicking install and you can activate, doesn't matter, you can always go back to the previous one. So that's now activated. Demo site, visit the site. That's as quick as it was to change the look and feel of the WordPress site. I don't particularly like that design, but that's fine. You can do that regularly and you just go back and reinstall 2012, wherever that's gone to activate. That's how you change the look and feel of WordPress. So now you know everything that you need to know. If you don't, there's a few places you can go for support. One is Fiverr, where there's people that will sort out any WordPress problem you've had. Um, often for just five dollars, sometimes for two or three lots of five dollars, it varies. Um, or you can search YouTube. There's tutorials on WordPress coming out of your ears. But this will give you most. 95% upwards of what you need to know and the other 5% will be individual to you so you need to find what you need to find if that makes sense but thanks for watching and if you've got any general questions drop me an email I'll do my best to reply or point in the right direction okay thank you very much